Okay, so this video I'm sort of dumping into chapter eight, but it's a, just a good one to know, and I'm, I have a feeling that some people are gonna find this video and find it useful in a lot of different contexts. Uh, in this one, I'm gonna go through converting between rectangular and polar coordinates. So it's gonna start with the unit circle. So we're going to have a big circle, and we're gonna draw a rectangle in there and we're going to basically we're going to have our rectangular coordinates which are x I'm sorry that's y right there x right there and y right there so those are our rectangular coordinates x and y and then our uh, polar coordinates are going to be r for radius and theta for the angle. So our so we've got a point here that we can label as x comma y, but we could also label that same point as r comma theta. We can get there by going a certain direction, certain distance in the x and a certain distance in the y, or we could get there by going out at a certain angle for a certain distance r radius. Okay, and we're gonna convert between those two, and as soon as I've got it on the unit circle, well, it's, it seems pretty obvious if you sort of know what you're doing, because we know a whole bunch of stuff that relate x, y, r, and theta. And if you think about it, we actually have four equations, four really, really common equations that relate x, y, r, and theta. Okay, so think about what they are. Hit pause, think about what they are. Okay, the first equation that's going to relate x, y, and r is going to be good old Pythagorean theorem, x squared plus y squared equals r squared. And then we're going to have, um, our, then we're going to have th our three major trigonometric functions. So we're going to have sine theta equals y over r, cosine theta, equals x over r, and then tangent theta is equal to y over x. Okay, now I look and I say, huh, I wanna get, a, I wanna get a function of x, I wanna get a function of y, I wanna get a function of uh, theta, and a function of r. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with this one and I'm going to just multiply both sides by r and so I'm going to get x equals r cosine theta. And then I'm going to take this one and I'm going to make it y equals r sine theta. Then I'm going to take this one I'm gonna make it r equals the square root of x squared plus y squared. And I'm gonna take this one and I'm gonna get theta equals the tan inverse of y over x. So what this does, so these are our four functions that translate, that convert between rectangular and polar coordinates. So if you start off with polar coordinates, r and theta, then these two equations, you plug in your r, you plug in your theta, th this equation spits out your x, this equation spits out your y, and then you've got your x and your y, and so you're into um, Cartesian or rectangular coordinates. If you start with x and y, rectangular or Cartesian coordinates, and you want to flip over to polar coordinates, you take your x and your y, plug it into here and you get r, take your x and your y, plug it into here and you get theta, and now you're in polar coordinates. Okay, so what can we do with this? Well, I'm just sort of gonna give you an idea of how to translate uh, some functions back and forth, and, and uh, it's, 
it's gonna be a little bit messy, but you know, we're just gonna do it anyways. Okay, so let's start off with y equals three x plus two. That's just a good rectangular formula. That's just a straight line. Well, how would I graph that straight line in, how would I, what would be the equivalent of that straight line in polar coordinates? Well, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my y and replace it with r sine theta. So that's r sine theta. I'm gonna take my x and replace it by r cosine theta. And then I've got my plus two. And so then I can sort of, uh, I'm gonna do r sine theta minus three r cosine theta equals two. And I'm gonna say um, r sine theta minus three cosine theta equals two. And I'm gonna say r equals two divided by sine theta minus three cosine theta. So these two These two functions both graph the exact same thing. This graphs a straight line. This also graphs a straight line. Okay, uh, I'm gonna do another one here. I'm gonna say, oh, this is the one that I'm gonna do next. So here I've got r equals two sine theta. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace r with uh, r is equal to the square root of x squared plus y squared. And well, actually what I'm gonna do here first off, I think I'm just gonna multiply both sides by r. So I'm gonna get r squared is equal to two r sine theta. That's what I wanna do, okay? So now I'm going to take that, I'm gonna work over, I'm gonna work over here. R equals two sine theta. R squared equals two R sine theta. R squared is gonna be X squared plus Y squared. And that's equal to two and R sine theta is gonna be equal to Y. So now I've got, um, x squared plus y squared minus 2y equals zero. And I'm gonna give myself some room because now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say x squared plus parentheses y squared minus 2y plus one equals one. What did I just do there? I just completed the square. Okay, so then I can write this as x squared plus y minus one squared equals one. And so that's a circle That's the formula for a circle with a center of x minus zero, so my, so zero, y minus one, so one, center is zero, one, and the radius is one, and so here I've got a center of zero, one, and I've got a radius of one. So I can, So 
I can either graph a circle with a radius one and a center of zero comma one, I can graph that as x squared plus y minus one squared equals one, or I can graph it as r equals two sine theta. Okay, I'm gonna do two more of these. We're gonna look at this one, a hyperbola. So let's just uh, crack into our hyperbola. x squared over nine minus y squared over four equals one. I'm gonna rewrite this as four x squared minus nine y squared equals 36. And then I'm going to, um, this is gonna look a little bit strange, but what I'm gonna do is I'm going to do uh, 13 x squared minus uh, nine x squared plus y squared equals 36. That's gonna look kind of strange. <clears throat> but 13 x squared minus nine x squared is four x squared and then uh, minus nine y squared equals 36. So I'm gonna write this, my x, is going to be r cosine theta. So I'm gonna write this as 13 r cosine theta squared minus nine. Well, x squared plus y squared, that's just r squared equals 36. So I'm gonna have, I'm gonna pull an r squared out of everything. So r squared 13 cosine squared theta minus nine equals 36. So r squared equals 36 divided by 13 cosine squared theta minus nine. So that's how I'm gonna write. So that's how I've got a hyperbola. So, so this is something that I saw in a class um, and nobody could really, nobody really knew the polar forms of hyperbolas. But so if I've got um, something over like a cosine squared theta minus uh, b, that's gonna be a hyperbola, which is really important in certain limited contexts. Okay, one more, and then we're gonna move on. Okay, so then we've got uh, our nice little four leaf clover here, which is r equals cosine two theta. So r equals cosine two theta. But now the problem is, is that we don't have something for, we've got something for cosine theta but we don't have anything for cosine two theta. So we gotta go over here and we gotta find our cosine two theta. And down here we've got a bunch of ones that can be cosine two theta. Uh, let's just uh, do this one here. So we could also write that as two cosine squared theta minus one. So now I'm gonna do the same sort of trick. I'm gonna do r squared equals two. Well, I think I'm gonna do, yeah. Well, I'm kind of stuck here. It's gonna be complicated no matter how I do it. I'm gonna just do, I'm just gonna just plug them in. I'm gonna say square root of x squared plus y squared is equal to two r squared um, I'm sorry, cosine theta. Yeah, I want to I want to do that. Sorry about that. I want to do r cubed is equal to two r squared cosine squared theta minus r squared. So I multiplied everything by r squared, and so I've got x squared plus y squared to the three halves power is equal to two times x squared. 
2x squared minus, and that's going to be x squared plus y squared. So x squared plus y squared to the 3 halves is equal to x squared x squared plus y squared. <clears throat> I might have done something wrong somewhere in here. And so that's 2, that's x squared. Multiplied everything, oh uh, yeah, multiplied it, that by r squared, that's fine, multiplied that by r squared, multiply that by r squared, should be all set. And so that's 2 minus, yep, that makes all kinds of sense actually. Because that's cosine squared minus 1, which is sine squared. So I should have, that's, yep. Okay, I'm all set. So that's about as that's about as nice as I can make it. I don't know, maybe I could make it nicer, hard to say. I have a, I have a feeling I'd have a hard time making that nicer. So the square root of x squared plus y squared is equal to x squared plus y squared. These are equivalent. It's hard to write something like this in polar coordinates and make it turn out nice. Okay, so there's your conversion between polar and rectangular coordinates and back again.